from WBBC TV Sports. It's time to beat the champ. Now, here are your hosts, Paul Peck and Sue Nowitzki. Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to Beat the Champ as we wrap up our month-long stay here on Grand Island. And, Sue, it's time for what is always one of the most anticipated, fun episodes of the year. It is the Grand Island Island Lanes Team Championship. You want me to ask you about the format? I'm going to say the format is craziness, and that should get <laughs> us where we need to go. That's right. There is numbers on their arms, and they are color-coordinated. So if you can find the numbers on their arms, that's the, that's the way they're going to go. One to five, first frame to the fifth frame, and then they do it all over again. Six yeah. to the tenth frame, one to five I think, again. I think we have about a hundred bowlers. I know. Anyone that has ever paid the toll <laughs> on Grand Island is eligible to be part of the team championship. Yeah. But no, we have four teams of five each. Right. Uh, it's all the regulars here. In past years, when we have recorded the Grand Island team championship, I think you have been lifted up, spun around, and danced with while you're trying to man the scoreboard. I can't imagine what might be next. Me either. Um, no, it'll be a really fun time. Um, you know, Mike Mollitz calls this the animal house for a reason, and we're going to see that today for sure. Yes, we are. We don't quite know what we're going to get, but that's a good reason for you to stick around. It's the Island Lanes Team Championship, so let's get rolling. Tommy throws it hard, doesn't he? He's got a few amps on that. Yeah, he sure does. There's, don't see the miles per hour on this computer, but I bet it's up there. Yep. That was a big one. What's the matter? Mollitz doesn't have the radar gun hooked up uh, for yeah, today? It's a different, well, it's a different system. Gotcha. So the Brunswick system doesn't have it. Right. Well, speaking of big throwers, Josh Nowak, we've seen him on our show plenty of times, and we know what a good bowler he is. Big shot here. Big eighth frame strike for Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Mowitz back to back triples in the 10th frame. That was wow. unbelievable. Thanks, Paul. That was amazing. You like that? I love that. That's what I love about bowling. When you have to strike. And I mean, it's not easy out there still. You saw people struggle a little bit. It's a little easy, but not like a gimme. And that's what you do. You buckle down, you throw it good, and you strike to win. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Beat the Champ at Rapids Bowling Center in Niagara Falls. This is our fourth fun week, the ladies' competition. Some of the premier bowlers in uh, Western New York. We have a few local people. We have Michelle Sterner, uh, one of our great Hall of Famers, and also from this area. We have Tabitha Dominguez. We have Stephanie Price. And we have Julie Selk. So tell us about the format. So format, we're going to do one versus four, which is going to be uh, Stephanie and Julie Selk. Then we're going to have two versus three, which is going to be Tabitha and Michelle Sterner. So it's a little bit different format. There's really not a benefit to being high qualifier. So it's just going to be straight up match play and see who makes it to the final match. And this is going to be a scratch event, so you're not going to have to really worry about handicap or anything like that. Okay, so no handicap, so it's just going to be who's the top lady bowler in Western New York today. That's right. Just That's straight awesome. up bowling. All right. So without further ado, let's get rolling. That's a good shot. That was a great, that great shot. That was the urethane. That was the urethane okay. right up 12. Yep. Beautiful shot. So when you go to nationals, um, would you, when you go to a tournament like that, would you bring a urethane ball? Always. When you only have a choice of six balls? I would because you can, you can utilize that as a spare ball. So technically, a lot of people, and and more so men than women, uh, when they're going away and we're trying to pick stuff out, will put the urethane ball in there instead of the plastic ball. So they don't waste one ball of shipping or travel on the plastic. So the urethane they're going to be able to use for the spares and for an ugly pattern if they get on it. 